Hello Year 11 from Mrs McKay. The lesson objective today is to learn how to factorise a quadratic expression. Pause the video while you have a go of this retrieval practice. And here are the answers. Now this is the third time you've done this so you should be getting six out of six now. Pause the video while you check the answers. Well done. So today's lesson, we're looking to factorise. And we have, we've, we're looking at quadratic expressions. So a quadratic expression has an x squared term in it. All of these are quadratic expressions. When we go to factorise this, we're going to end up with two brackets. There's going to be an x term in both of them because x times x will give us x squared. What we're looking at is the last number. We're looking for So we're looking for the factors of 16. So we've got 16, we've got 1 times 16. Okay, we're looking for the product. The product is going to make us 16. We've got 2 times 8. And we've got 4 times 4. Now to get the number that goes inside the bracket, we need to use these numbers here. So what we've got is a product. Now we're looking to make the sum. So we're looking for two numbers that would make the sum of 10. So when we add them or subtract them, they would give us 10. Well, 2 and 8, 2 plus 8 is going to give us 10. So inside the bracket, we're going to write plus 2 and plus 8. And we're just going to check that to make sure that's right. So we've got x squared plus 2x plus 8x plus 16. And if we combine these two together here, 8x plus 2x is going to give us 10x. Okay, again, we're looking for the product. We need a product of 16, and then we need to be able to make a sum of 17. So we could still use this information over on this side. Okay, so which of these numbers here is going to give us 17? Okay, write down what you think that would be. Okay, so you should have written down x plus 1 and x plus 16. And if we multiply those out, we're going to get x squared plus x plus 16x, which will give us 17x, and then 1 times 16 is 16. So that's correct. Well done. Again, we've still got the product of 16, but this time we want to make a sum. We want to make a sum when we add them or subtract them, we're going to get 8. So which of these numbers here could we use? Okay, so I'm going to use these numbers here. So I'll have x plus 4, x plus 4. So I'll get x squared plus 4x plus 4x plus 16 and 4x plus 4x. If I combine those together, I'm going to get 8x. Have a look at this one here then. Okay. We want the product of 81. So what two numbers would then give us 18? Pause the video while you have a go at that. Okay. So the product of 81. We've got 1 and 81. Well, that's not going to give us 18. And 9 times 9. So if we add 9 and 9 together, we'd get 18. Okay, so you should have x plus 9, x plus 9. So that would give us 18x. We could also write that x plus 9 all squared. Okay. 
Okay, so we're looking at the factors of 81. So 1 times 81, 3 times 27, 9 times 9. So we're now looking at which two numbers are going to give us 30. You can't, 1 and 81 is not going to give us 30. 9, 9 is going to give us 80. 3 plus 27 is going to give us 30. So that will be x plus 3, x plus 27. When we multiply that out, we're going to get x squared plus 30x plus 18 when we've collected the terms. Have a go of where we what we've put into the brackets to factorise this quadratic expression. Pause the video while you have a go at that. Okay, you should have x plus 81, x plus 1, and when we multiply that back out again, expand it, and then we collect the terms, we will have x squared plus 82x plus 81. So I've got this one. This time I need to get 36. The product is going to, two numbers are going to make 36. So I've got 1 and 36. Will that give us 37? Yes, it will. So stop there. I'm not going to list them all. I can see I can get 37 there. So x plus 36 and x plus 1. Pause the video. And have a go at this one. Okay, so we could do 6 times 6. Well, that's going to give me 12. And it, but it could do 2 times 18. 2 times 18 is 13, 6. But when I add them together, I'm going to get 20. So I'm going to have x plus 2, x plus 18. When I multiply that out and simplify it, I'm going to get x squared plus 20x plus 36. So let's have a look at this then. We're trying to get 36 again. So that 1 times 36, 2 times 18, 3 times 12. And then we could go 6 times 6, 36. But this time I'm looking to get a sum of minus 20. And I need to have positive 36. So I need an answer of positive 36. So I'm looking at what I'm going to put, it, put into these brackets to get negative 20. So if I do, uh, I can see the two numbers are 2 and 18. That will give me 20. If I make them both negative, I'm going to get negative 2 times negative 18. That's going to give me plus 36. So let's put that into the brackets and see what happens. Let's multiply it out to check. So we're going to get x squared minus 2x minus 18x plus 36. Okay, so let's collect these terms here together. So I'm now going to get x squared minus 20x plus 36. Okay, so you're now looking, let's have a look at the we do. We're looking for two numbers that's going to give us 15, but it's going to give us negative 15. So look over on the left hand side, look over here. What numbers could you use out of here? Pause the video while you have a go. Okay, so we've got x in both the terms, both the brackets. And you've chosen x subtract 3 and x subtract 5. 3 times 5 is going to give us 15. Negative 3 times negative 5 is going to give us negative 15. I've made it 15, but I really should have had 12, shouldn't I? Change that, make that 12. So I wasn't looking for the 15, I'm looking to make 36, aren't I? So minus 3 times 
times minus 12. And the answers are here, aren't they? They are actually as the pair of numbers. And they should be using the pair of numbers. So if I multiply that out, I've got x squared minus 3x minus 12x plus 36. So that will give me x squared minus 15x plus 36. OK, we're still looking for getting 36, but this time we're looking to get negative 36. So let's have a look at those then. We need to get negative 36. So some of these numbers are going to have to be negative, or one of the numbers is going to have to be negative. But we need to get 9. So which of these numbers could we use to get us 9? Well, 12 take away 3 is 9, but 12 take away 3 is going to give us positive 9, and we want negative 9. So if we have, we could either, we could have negative 9, oops. we could have oops, negative 12, sorry my screen's going funny, negative 12 plus 3, so negative 12 plus 3 is going to give us negative 9, so these are the numbers that we need to put in the brackets, x track 12 and x plus 3, if we multiply this out we're going to get x squared minus 12x plus 3x and then minus 12 times 3 minus 36. Have a look at the we do. Okay, what would you put into those brackets? Because this time you want positive 9, subtract 36. Pause the video while you have a go at this. Okay, so you've got x plus 12 and then x subtract 3 as we've got over here on the left-hand side. 12x, subtract 3x is going to give us 9x, and 12 times 3 minus 3 is going to give us minus 36. OK, let's have a look at the final example. I always like to put them in the format I'm used to. So x squared plus 5x minus 36. That bit clearer underneath. X squared plus 5x subtract 36. So I'm still looking at 36. But 1 times 36, I always list them. 2 times 18, 3 times 12, and then I have a look at them. Okay, I am looking for, or oh, 6 times 6. I am looking for two numbers that are going to give me. 5x. I need 5x. Have a think. Just pause the video and see what you think. As you can see, none of those numbers will work, but there's another two factors that we haven't looked at. 4 and 9. And we want to be able to get 5x. So we want positive 5. So if we had x plus 9, and x subtract 4, 9 subtract 4 is going to give us 5, and 9 times negative 4 is going to give us negative 36. If we multiplied that out, we are going to get x squared plus 5x minus 36. Have a go at the we do, put it in the original format, the format we're used to, pause the video and have a go at this question. We've got x squared minus 5x minus 36. And you should have in your brackets x minus 9, x plus 4. Minus 9x plus 4x is going to give us minus 5x. And then subtract 36. OK. Let's have a go at these questions then. Give yourself about 10-15 minutes to have a go at these. 
remember to list all your factors to find your product and then to find the single coefficient term of like 7x or 5x you're looking for the sum where you add or subtract them to get that number okay right we'll now move on then here's the answers to those questions double check and mark them hopefully you've got all of them right <laughs>